Hey there, welcome back. I have a empties and favorites for the month of July. I have not done one of these in a while because, I don't know. I don't, I just feel like every month I don't have a ton of favorites, but I have enough favorites this month to just go ahead and do it in one and not enough of empties to have its own video. So we're just going to do it like it is and we're going to start with favorites. If you've noticed in the thumbnail, there's a tiny baby that is going to be running around in this video. Um, and he's already gone. When he pops back out to, I'm sure, attack me, yep, right there, I will grab him. Oh, come on. Oh, he's being naughty. Uh, yeah, we have a new family member. His name is Maxwell. He is the naughtiest of naughties. Oh, here. <laughs> him and Oliver love each other. Well, I think he loves Oliver a little more. He's still getting adjusted. Um, but yeah, this is... <laughs> Max, named after a Formula One driver that uh, Randall loves. So, <laughs> honestly, Oliver needed a friend. He's been so bored and lonely, and this guy has been keeping him company. Even though, I don't know where Oliver is right now, um, probably more company than Oliver requested, but honestly, they're good for each other. <laughs> he is part Persian, part... Maine Coon. I think that's what the blend is. There's like a fourth Maine Coon and three-fourths Persian. I don't know. We'll see what he turned. I don't know what he's going to look like. He looks different than Oliver and Chester ever did as babies, so he could just be a normal cat, too. I'm not sure. There's no paperwork on him. He was definitely a clearance kitty, uh, but we love him, and he's going to grow in front of the camera just like the other kitties did, and I'm excited for that. He's a little baby right now. He's 10 weeks. Okay, we're gonna do favorites first. Obviously, I started with Max. Um, second favorite is from Tula. This is... I went crazy last year, last December, January, February, last winter, and bought so much of this, and I'm still going through it, and I've not bought any skincare since then. <laughs> This is the Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel. I just started on this a couple months ago. It has SPF 30 in it, and there's probiotics and superfoods. Their whole line's just based on like probiotics and prebiotics and whatever. Just good things for your skin. Um, and this has saved my skin from sunburns. Well, mostly. Better died. Anyways, um, yeah, I, this has been doing amazing things. I did get burnt one time with it, and that's because I was at the beach and I was there for a while and it did not reapply and my nose got burnt and then a little bit above here. Other than that, it's been great and I've been outside a lot, so I'm obsessed and it does not break me out. It's honestly the main thing. If something doesn't break me out, I'm gonna love it. So yes, happy with that. Um, last for favorites. No, just kidding. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing favorites. Let's do those real quick. Um, scrunchy. This is like a towel scrunchie. It does not leave creases in your hair. I got this from TJ Maxx on clearance, a pack of them. Uh, pretty sure that I've seen them at Target though. You can get them pretty much, I don't want to say anywhere, but like just Google towel scrunchies. I don't have a brand for it. I have no idea what this was from, but I love them. I wear them every single day. Literally every single day. Okay, um, second favorite that I'm wearing is this set right here. This is my absolute favorite lounging set and it's from Dick's Sporting Goods. It's by their DSW, is that what it is? DSG? G DSG line. Um, and I think right now this is on sale for $19 and then this is regular for $25 um, and they have many colors and I want them all but this is the only one I can afford right now like set wise. I will get more. And then, last favorites, Merit Beauty, not sponsored. I was gifted this. I love it. One, this is how the package came. How could you not love that? They sell sets of this online, um, so you can get everything in the product line, which is, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll count them, but like seven or eight products. Um, because their whole philosophy is that they're very, like, minimalist and they only sell, like, what you need, you know? Um, I'll take you through. I got a set. I got everything except for the highlighter. 
um, that is sold out. I just went on Sephora because I was gonna, they have two colors in it. There's, I think, Canva and then like a, so like a champagne-y and then a rose gold. I want the champagne one, um, but rose gold's the only one you can get on Sephora. And Merit Beauty, it's fully sold out on their site. Um, it's hard to get. I will end up getting it though. I might just go ahead and get the rose gold one uh, because it is very pretty. I just feel like I already have red undertones. I want more of a champagne. We'll see. Um, but yeah, you can buy the entire set. It's a discount if you get sets and they have make mini sets. You don't have to buy the whole product line. You can buy like a highlighter and a blush or like your brow and your mascara. You can do different sets and it's discounted or you can just buy them individually. Everything was between 20 and $38. 38 was the highest. Everything else was pretty much under 30. Um, they're fully clean, so they're under the clean uh, Sephora section. Uh, they only sell to the United States and Canada. I am so sorry if any of you are not there. They don't ship anywhere else yet. That could change though. The first thing is that I'm going to show you is their brush. This is the most, ex no, just kidding. This is like $30 on the site. It is so dense and so soft, and I'm sorry this is a little dirty because I used it earlier today it goes on so nice when you blend your makeup out which i will go to the foundation next because <laughs> i've actually never used a cream like stick foundation i'm almost positive i've never used it and i love it i have not worn like makeup in a long time um I've, maybe five times this year i've done a full face of makeup and every time i do it i just feel like i look like a clown like, I verbally say that every time I put it on. Um, and this stuff, like, when you put it on and it blends in seamlessly to your skin where you don't have to actually put it all over your face. So all I've been doing is literally, so I put it under my eyes. And this is actually, this is my color. This is in silk. I want to say that this, I have two of them. So I got one as, like, a, I made my own highlighting stick because there's a sold out. Silk and Dune. Just kidding. So Silk is what I use under my eyes and as the highlighter. I put a little bit down here and then like on my eyes. Not all over because you guys know my eyes are very sensitive <laughs> and I get styes like crazy. So I go very minimal on anything around my eyes. And then Silk, just kidding, Dune is the one that I like spot covered. I put a little on my nose and then on like a couple acne spots. And it looks like I am wearing like a full face of makeup and I'm not. I'm just like patched around where I need it. And that makes me happy because I don't feel like a clown right now. These were the most expensive. These were $38, but they were so worth it. Worth the money. I don't know how I've not tried cream before. Um, lipstick. I have the color Eau Naturel and it's just like... It basically matches my lips just a little bit darker and looks pulls the look together it makes me look like I'm actually um, alive I feel like I look dead sometimes I really like that they, I think they had like forged colors in that the foundation they had 20 this is the mascara or just kidding this one is the brow this is in the color blonde they have blonde brown and black and it matched my it's like a dishwater blonde eyebrows really well I even when I'm not wearing any makeup like to have just like a clear brow gel so with makeup this one's really well they were sold out of almost all their cheek colors except for this one and I was a little worried about it when I got it um it's in the color terracotta it is the darkest one but if you can tell it's honestly like so subtle that it does not come off this color it just like it just gives your face a little dimension, honestly. I made it to where it was a little bit in line with how a bronzer would be. And I think it turned out pretty well. And then I put the lighter foundation color a little bit underneath of it just to give it a little, I don't want to say harsher edge, but a little more of an edge on it. And I ended up very happy with it. So uh, don't be afraid of the darker color when you're looking at that range. And then lastly is their mascara. And if you guys know me and my side issues, I go so light on my mascara now. I never put it on my under lash line because that's where I get styes at. Um, and I have a like 
reusable mascara sticks that like I wash so I didn't actually use this stick itself so I can't tell you um for sure how this is like with their mascara wand but just having it on my face and using like the cheap brush that I wash um I use one for each eye I really like it it's black is black it's really nice um it doesn't clump if you're someone that likes clumpy mascara this probably isn't for you it's just like more lengthening but it gives you that like subtle minimal is she wearing makeup is she not type of look i liked it so i have nothing else on my face and i really like this so those are the last of my favorites and then real quick i have a few empties in here which um I think there actually is something I really love in here. Let's look. So, of course, I went through the Extraordinary Clay Conditioner. I also went through the shampoo, but I already threw that away. You guys know about those already. I went through an Ion Clarifying Shampoo. I love using this when it's summertime because the pool, it kind of strips that chlorine from it because it gets really gross and, like, built up in my hair, and it's disgusting. And Ion is just, like, whenever I go to Sally's, it's their, like, main it's not their main brand but I feel like it's always on display so that's why I started buying it and the lady at Sally's said that was a good one for boring removal deodorant by degree um this is motion sense ultra clear black and white pure rain I always get this one it is not ultra clear it always gets on my sports bras so if you're looking for something that's not going to get on your bras that's not going to be it but that's my favorite deodorant right now and has been for like years another Tula um I forgot I went through this this is the mm, the Sean East the soap pumpkin exfoliating sugar scrub smells great as far as a scrub because it's sugar it like almost immediately dissolves so I don't get a ton of exfoliating action you have to really like quickly work it um but as far as the environment goes thumbs up on that and then by Thayer's, the facial toner, which hazel and rose petal. I did not like this one. I used it all because I always use it all. Um, but I did not like the rose scent. So I would go back to original or cucumber. I like those more. I'm really sad that I'm out of this. This is Sunday Riley. This is so expensive. This is the A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I got this in an Ipsy box. And I don't think I could ever get it again unless it came in an Ipsy box because this is $100, I'm pretty sure. And while I don't want wrinkles, I don't and I can't ever see myself spending that much on something. So we're going to find something cheaper. And then lastly, I have a Ollie Multi and Probiotic Vitamin. This came with 70 This was only $14.99. Love that. Um, I really miss my Tula probiotic and hair gummy so like very much so they made my stomach like less gassy less bloated just and they tasted good I just miss them but they're so much more expensive um and this didn't do I don't know I think I'm gonna go back to the Tula ones I'm talking it out in my head I just feel like they did way more for me for the benefit and I didn't notice anything with this like helpful maybe behind the scenes I'm not sure okay that's everything I hope you enjoyed it let me know what your favorites were and if you tried any of this and any video recommendations I feel like I'm just like out of touch with YouTube so okay love you much bye